Yeah, 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 yeah. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's going on, man? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Acito, a.k.a. Fedora Cito. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the motherfucking building. So let's talk about it, man. Y'all see this particular blog, Champion of the Year 2021. Man, what a phenomenal panel we had and discussion, man. I think these niggas was up there talking for like three to four hours, man. Like, it was intense. It was crazy, man. But they got to it, man. They got to the top 20. Geechee motherfucking Gotti, man. Congratulations, brother. You had a phenomenal year, man. I mean, no complaints on this side. It's well-deserved. You worked tremendously hard. This is three times in a row. If you need the blueprint to win champion of the year, it's right in front of you, man. Just look at Geechee Gotti, man. Time after time after time, he's put the work in. He's strategically he showed you what battles to take, what battles not to take. And look at his blueprint, man. You know what I'm saying? He got his own lead going on. So we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about that, man. We're gonna talk about you, Geechee Gotti. But let's get into this, man. You know what I mean? Let me let me pull this up. So um down in the description box, you know what I'm saying? You'll be able to see I'll post my uh top 20 champion of the year. Um, I mean, I, let me take the hat off, man, let me take the hat off, man. I really, I mean, my list, my personal list is somewhat the same, but it's a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to just run it down from 20 all the way up to number one. Um, so real quick, I had Jack Boy Maine at number 20. I had JC at number 19. I was very shocked that they did not have JC on the list jc had well over maybe like four or five battles um he had like at least four battles alone on url not to mention the other battles that he took on you know various other leagues one rounders or whatnot but i feel like jc definitely had a very outstanding year the none none battle um damn who else who else jc had i think he had uh serious jones yes yeah, i don't know if serious jones was part of 2021 20, I, I think so i want to say serious jones was um, he had Fonz, he had Fonz, that was a crazy ass battle, so you know what I mean, JC, JC had a good amount of battles, you know what I'm saying, so I was really surprised that they didn't have JC on the list, um, number 18, I had Dre Dennis, um, you know, Dre Dennis, you know what I'm saying, he had a lot of battles, you know what I mean, he had a lot of battles, kind of like an A-Ward, um, I feel like a lot of Dre Dennis's battles were one-rounders, um, but I definitely feel like he was super consistent, um, you know, and you look at that strength of schedule, you know, he definitely, if it was just based on strength of schedule, he would have won that just let alone. But I feel like a lot of his battles just weren't impactful. Um, hopefully, you know, this year we can see Dre Dennis on URL, on RBE, KOTD, you know, some of those big, big, uh, main events. And, um, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? He could get, you know, get, get, get a stock up, man. Cause Dre Dennis is super talented, man. And I'm looking forward to seeing more from him. Um, going to number 17, I have Real Name Brandon. Um, I saw Real Name Brandon live in Houston, man. Um, he he won that uh, he won that tournament, man. Your Real Name Brandon, man. He's the truth, man. I'm really looking forward to him as one of the new up and comers um, of the URL family. Um, I have nothing bad to say about Real Name Brandon, man. Just keep up the good work, you know what I'm saying? I know you had the shotgun shug battle. Um, the beginning of the year, um, no, that was, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that was the beginning of the year, um, of this year, um, you know, that was, a, I feel like that was a debatable, but I feel like Shotgun should kind of edge you to one, but, um, other than that, man, you know, you did a phenomenal job in the tournament, um, I'm just looking forward to seeing more from you, man, you know what I'm saying, uh, number 16, I had Mac Myron, Mac Myron, man, Mac Myron is outstanding, bro. And it's just sad that a lot of his battles just weren't impactful as far as on the culture. Um, due to him just not really getting that shot and that opportunity to be on URL, you know, the big, big NBA, as they say, you know, the big stage. Um, I don't even know if Matt Myron had any RBE debut battles. Um, I'm pretty sure he was, but I'm just saying as far as 2021, um, I can't really think other than KOTD um, and the body he caught on Bonnie, you know, pun intended. Um, but... Matt Myron is crazy, man. That's another dude I'm looking forward to seeing this year. Hopefully, he can get on URL. He can get on the maxed out. Um, he's he's crazy. He's crazy. Uh, 
B dot, I had B dot at 15. Uh, I had DNA at 14. I know they had DNA kind of high. Um, I just feel like, you know, I feel like DNA for some reason for me, uh, for 2021, his battles just weren't impactful. Um, you know, he showed up. Um, I was a little disappointed in the King Los battle. I feel like he was supposed to mop the floor with King Los, kind of like how he did uh, Mickey Fax. And I had, shit, I had King Los winning that shit 2-1. So um, I feel like that battle, I feel like that battle kind of knocked the stock down a little bit. Um, just for me personally. Uh, number 13, I had Bill Collector. Shout out to Bill, man. Um, you know, like I said, you know, Bill Bill, Bill did his thing, man. You know, he, he's killing it in the, in the KOTD tournament. Um, we didn't really see too much from him on URL. I know there was some politics going on with that. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing more from Bill. I know he did a lot on the, uh, I forgot the name of the league in Philadelphia. I know he had a couple battles on there. He had a couple battles on Gates of the Garden. So um, Bill Collector, man, keep that momentum up going into 2022, man. I'm really looking forward to seeing more from you. Uh, number 12, I had Real Sick. Uh, number 11, I had Tay Rock. And then we get into the top 10. Now, the top 10, I had Danny Myers at number 10. All right, Danny Myers, man. We talk about this shit all the time. Danny Myers, you start off incredible. You start off incredible, and then you just start taking these battles. That's just unnecessary in my eyes. And then through that, you know, you may have a slip up. You may have, you may underestimate your opponent. The real sick battle, man, just, I don't know, man. That that, that shit really did a lot, man. Um, But you definitely came, you redeemed yourself to finish up the year. But uh, that's why I got you, man. I got you at number 10. Um, Number nine, listen, man, listen, listen, listen. I understand, you know, some of these, some of these battlers, man, their attitude is I don't care about a, a list. Don't put me on no list and yada, yada, yada. Listen, man. I'm a fan of the culture, man. And this particular MC, I went and I saw him live as well in Houston. And I got Calico. I got Calico at number nine, man. Calico had an incredible 2021 um, from multiple big leagues, from RBE to URL. You know what I'm saying? He damn near main evented almost every single every single event that he, you know, not even an event. Every league that he bounced from back to back, you know what I'm saying? So from the Sue Surf battle to the Hitman Holler battle to the Geechee Gotti battle. I mean, what more can you ask for? You know what I'm saying? He kind of had a run in, in a sense of like Sue Surf, but it wasn't just 90 days. But I feel like Calico, you know, you may you may say, you know, he had debatables, but I feel like they were classic battles. You know what I'm saying? Like they they were they they were classics, man. Um, so I got I got him at number nine. Number eight, I got Loso. Uh, Loso had an incredible year. Um, I got him at number eight. I got Chess at number seven. Chess, shout out to Chess, man. Chess had a phenomenal year, yo. With the uh, with the easy to block captain battle, I was there live for that. That was crazy. Um, damn, man. Chess is crazy, bro. The Charlie Clips battle at Chris Brown House. You know he took Loso as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, Chess, man. Chess is incredible, man. I'm looking forward to seeing more from Chess, man. Uh, number six, I had Ill Will. Um, on my list, I feel like Ill Will was super consistent. Um, he dominated pretty much on every main event over there at RBE. Um, I would have loved to see him at URL, but, you know, my list here, I don't just... Even though URL is the NBA of uh, battle rap, um, I still look at RBE as right up there as a stepping stone. You know what I'm saying? And... He damn near did his thing at every single main event on RBE. So you gotta you gotta salute Ill Will, man. Now, top five. Now, my top five going into this, I had Sue Surf. Sue Surf, number five. Real quick, the reason why I had Sue Surf is because he had three battles and they were very close towards the end of the year. Yes, he did phenomenal, all three battles, but I can't take away the fact that I have other gentlemen that had more battles. They were just as impactful and the, the content was just as good. So I can't, I, I, I couldn't, me personally, as much as I love Sue Surf, I couldn't have him higher than number five. Um, that's how I got it. 
Number four, I had easy to block captain. Um, I was kind of going back and forth with this, but uh, you know, easy had four incredible battles, man. I feel like if easy to block captain would have got that murder mook battle, I feel like it would have solidified him to be neck and neck for the individual that I have at number one. Um, but yeah, man, easy, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what you got going on next year too as well, man. Like crazy, crazy. Uh, number three, number three, I got Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty, man. I feel like Rum Nitty was slapping on, bro. I mean, I understand. I, I feel like maybe in one of the categories, I feel like maybe he kind of was in a low totem pole as far as impact. But if you look at strength, strength of schedule, you know, the content, the consistency, Rum Nitty was, Rum, what more can you ask for? Rum Nitty checks all those boxes. Any, any damn near, he won the tournament. <laughs> Along with Geechee. You know what I'm saying? So we can't do that, man. We can't do that. I know a lot of people say Rum Nitty Styles a little redundant. You know, it is, it, he needs to switch it up. Listen, man, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. And I feel like for Rum Nitty, I want to see Rum Nitty go against a conceited. I want to see Rum Nitty go against a goods next year. Um, that's another guy. I don't want to see him taking no more low tier, you know, no disrespect, but no low, no low tier battle rappers. I feel like he gave enough opportunities to, you know, dudes that's, you know, just breaking through or just going to come up. He gave a lot of dude shots, man, and they just couldn't fuck with him. He 30 damn near all of them. So um, I got him at, at number three. Um, number two, number two, I got a ward. Now. It was a big debate I saw on Champion with A Ward, man. Listen, man, you can't deny the talent, man. A Ward is super talented. And strength of schedule, he has that. Consistency, he has that. Content, he has that. Moments, he has that. Like, we understand, you know, even though, even though N Ward, I mean, excuse me, A Ward was not on URL. He damn near was on URL because if you look at every single live from 2021, um, every single debate, A Ward somewhere got itself placed in it. You know what I'm saying? And for him to not even be on the roster of a URL and still be in the talks, and you got a whole bunch of guys over here wanting to battle him, I feel like URL man, y'all got y'all have to bring him to URL. You have to. You know what I'm saying? You have to bring him there. You know, um, I know it's a lot of politics involved with that, but A War is super talented, and I'm looking forward to seeing him on URL and RBE as well. Um, I, I, I give my flowers to him, man. Like, incredible, incredible. Every battle I saw wasn't lackluster. And maybe one lackluster battle that I saw was the XL battle. Um, but other than that, man, he brought it every single every single time that I seen him. Um, shout out to A War, man. And number one. Champion of the year, it's no secret. You know, they got it right. That's why I had Geechee Gotti on my list. Shout out to Geechee Gotti, man. Three times champion, man. It's incredible, man. It's like, it's no debate, man. Like, Geechee Gotti is on Mount Rushmore, man. Especially for the new generation. And I feel like, I feel like if Geechee, if Geechee was to win champion of the year <laughs> next year, you got to take off, you got to take off one of those Mount Rushmores. Either it was Verb, either it was Lux, either it was Mook. Either it's Arsenal, um, one of them. One of them got to go. Because if you look at it, Mook, Mook didn't have a good year. Loaded Lux didn't have a good year. And these are like consistently. Arsenal, Arsenal, I, I, you can't take Arsenal off because I feel like Ars, Ars gave a lot of opportunities, kind of like Rum Nitty. You know, Arsenal don't damn near battled everybody except for Murder Mook. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he battled Averb, but. Um, he done damn near battle every other top tier, you know, battle rapper. Um, but, yo, you got to make room for Geechee Gotti, man. Just look at what he's done. Look at his resume. Look at his resume for the amount of time that he's been in battle rap. It's no debate, bro. It's no debate. It's no debate. So, big shout out to Geechee Gotti, man. Congratulations on winning that three times in a row. I saw you in Houston, man. Phenomenal. You was one of the main reasons, and Sue Surf was the reason why I purchased the ticket to go to Summer Madness in Houston, man. And it was worth every single dollar, man. Other than, you know, the one lackluster battle that we got, Murder Moot versus Reed Dollars. But, 
You know what I mean? You and Calico, y'all saved the day. Killed it with the main event. Um, I'm just super proud, man. And I'm just thankful and appreciative that I get to witness this shit, man, as a fan of the culture, man. So, um, yeah, man, that's my that's my list, man. My top 20 champion of the year. Let's get it, man.